here we're looking at the Ronskian, and if you remember, we looked at the Ronskian when we first looked at uh, linear equations, and to show that we we could find linearly independent solutions. We have the same type of thing here, but for the Ronskian, we're going to have uh, matrices. We're going to have solution vectors. Uh, here, x1, x2, x3, probably an x, a y, and a z. And we're checking to see if they're linearly independent. We can take the Ronskian by listing the elements of each matrix in columns. So this is my x1, this is my x2, and this is my x3. And then you can take the Ronskian, uh, just take the determinant of the matrix, if the determinant is not equal to zero, then the uh, solutions are linearly independent. So here I've got a, a two by two system, two variables, two equations. My Ronskian is going to be just a two by two matrix. I'm going to have e to the t e to the negative t, and 0 for my first column, that's from this first solution vector, and then I have e to the 2t times e to the, not times, but, and e to the 2t for my second solution vector. And when I take the determinant, I'm going to multiply e to the negative t times e to the 2t, and then subtract off the product of the backward diagonal e to the 2t times 0, which is 0. So that gives me just this first product. When I multiply here, I need to add the exponents. And adding negative 1t and a positive 2t gives me a positive 1t. You get e to the t. And an exponential is never equal to 0. So these are linearly independent. On number nine, these are linearly independent. On number 10, again, we have a, a two by two system. And so my, my Ronskian is going to be the determinant that has cosine t and sine t for my first column and sine t and negative cosine t for for my second column. Okay, so finding the determinant, I need to multiply cosine t and negative sine t. That's going to give me a negative cosine squared t minus sine t times sine t is sine squared t. Oops. And here I could factor out a negative 1 to give me cosine squared t plus sine squared t. And this is one of our Pythagorean identities. Cosine squared plus sine squared is 1. So I get negative 1 times 1 gives me negative 1, which is not equal to 0. And so these two vectors are linearly independent.